still struggle as a man. What is going on, Kingdom? So today I am back, and I am back with another video today on this channel. Now listen, today I want to do more of a discussion video, more of a me speaking, more of like I've done this video, I've done this kind of a video in the past where I've kind of just talked, kind of just discussed some of my feelings. I did this actually not that long ago back in January, and then um, I also did this video on depression before, as it was during a time where I was really facing that um, heavily and today I want to talk a little bit about some of my confusion you know just mainly talking mainly speaking I don't always want to come at you like this is this is what I think is best and this is what I think I also want to come as you know a, a relatable and genuine person on the camera and you know just 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 show some of the sides of me that are also my battles with faith you know what I'm saying so today I want to speak about this today and I want to talk about it it's not gonna be very very long but I just want to do this today so listen I have an analogy for this video N analogy is that the word for so listen um lately I've been going through like a season where I feel like God isn't there you know what I'm saying and this is wrong you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is but this is what I've been battling with in my faith is a strong feeling you know, and we shouldn't be walking and going by feeling, but I have a strong feeling internally that God isn't there for my situation. A lot of the times I feel alone. You know, I feel like there's no other way out of my stress or, you know, um, my confusions. I'm going through a lot of confusions. I'm not going to get deeply, deeply specific, but I'm going through a lot of confusions, Right, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where to go. I don't know what's the right move to try and find peace in my life. I've been getting deeper into my word lately and that hasn't really been, and I could, I probably have me more time or something, but that hasn't really been changing my life. I've been getting deep into prayer and praying to God and it's like, I feel like that's really not getting me anywhere either. I'm just being honest. I feel like, you know, and I don't know what I could do to help with some of the confusions that I'm going through in my life. This is the analogy that I want to use real quick. Okay, shine, shed the light actually. So listen, I have a Nintendo 64 controller here. I love Nintendo stuff. If you've watched this channel at all you throughout, you know, you can tell because I've used Nintendo stuff before. But listen, there's something wrong with this controller here. Do you see it? You know, let's shed some light on that. There's something wrong here. You see there's no stick. Now the main thing to control Nintendo 64 games when you're playing a Nintendo 64 is the stick. If you don't have the stick, you can't do anything. These buttons really don't put you in any directions in most of the games at all. These buttons just allow for you to access menus and um, allows for you to do other things that will be needed. But it's not for direction. It's not for moving. This is for moving and this is gone. You know, I feel like, um, <clears throat> I feel like, and I say God is... You know, I feel like he's distant, but I do feel like God put this spot, put me in this situation where this controller was like this, and then put it into my heart to where I can make this video and say that I feel this way so I could present some relatability because this is how I feel. God knows this is the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? Where I feel alone. I feel like I'm by myself and I feel like I have no direction. I have no, I don't know, I don't know where to go. I have nowhere good to go. I can't even go anywhere. Look at this. I can't go anywhere at all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just isn't working. This thing is jacked up. So I feel like I'm directionless, and I'm trying to... I guess I'm going through a season and phase where I'm like, man, God, you know, one, I guess, why am I being put through some of the emotions and the tests and the just... Because I get it. When life throws you things, it's hard. But with me on the internal, I'm facing a lot. And um, it's not about all so much the outside circumstances, but rather what I'm going through on the internal. Why am I going through this? What can I do to change it? What can I do, God? And how, you know, with some of these things, you know, that maybe it's like, I don't know what's best. I don't know what's right. You know, there's some things I feel like I could do better, but I would really need the grace and strength of God to make it happen. And that's why I pray about these things. And I feel like I'm still stuck in this spot and position to where I just don't know what I can do. And it makes me exhausted. It makes me exhausted. It makes me very tired. Today I was very exhausted. Very tired. I had church today. And I was in there. And, you know, I usually am very hype around church. I'm dancing. I was doing all that. But throughout, like, the end, the service was ending. I realized I am exhausted. I am tired. Boy, oh, boy, I am tired. 
And also, if you're listening on the podcast, by the way, I know, um, whatever, you hopefully be able to tell that I have a Nintendo 64. That's a listening thing, not a video thing. Whatever. Um, Young GT Man of God podcast on Spotify. Young GT MOG, you know what I'm saying. Okay. But, um, I just feel like, man, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm going through a space where I just don't, I, I just don't know what's right. I have no idea what's right. I feel like I don't know what to do with myself going forward with, you know, I struggle sometimes with school stuff. Just, that's just another thing, you know, I don't know what's, I, I guess I know what's right, but I struggle to find it. You know, when some of my classes I struggle, I, I'm not doing bad, but I'm not doing my greatest. It's another thing that I'm working to do better at. I don't know, I don't know how to put myself in a better state of peace or a better state of mind where I can, I can be like a, a peaceful person for the people around me. I don't know if maybe there's something where I should be changing something in my life or changing something within myself or where my direction is or what is it that I should be doing? And I pray about it consistently and I wonder, God, what is it? You know, and <clears throat> I think sometimes, am I really like sitting here just stalling? Am I wasting time? Am I, am I doing something where nothing is going to progress if I don't change something here? You know what I'm saying? Can I, should I do better at this? And if so, how do I do better at this to progress? You know, and I pray about it and I just feel like I don't get any help with certain stuff when it comes to, and, and I know God will put us in the spot, right? I know, let me just, I know God will put us in the spot where we have to be able to, you know, also be able to trust in what he's given us and not just always rely on, you know, God just do everything for us. But I need the I need grace. I need help. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I don't get it a lot of the time. And I get so confused because I just want to make the right decisions. I just want to do the right thing. But it becomes so confusing as to what's the right thing. And for what I know is the right thing right now, it's so difficult for me to do it. To the point where I'm like, you know, man, like I know the right thing isn't to get angry. I know the right thing isn't to just completely border myself away. But it's really hard for me not to. It's really, really hard for me not to be that way because I have all of these internal emotions kind of stirring that I don't know what to do with. And I pray about them consistently and think, what should I be doing about this? And I get very confused about it. You know, I think, should I give myself time? But giving myself time, how do I even do that with myself? Because resting really isn't helping me. It more feels like a depression nap. Or should I be working on things? But then that's only temporary. When I go to work on something, then it ends up, I end up being in a place where I work on those things. And then I get back into the spot where I feel the same way. You know, and so I think, what should I be doing? You know, I don't know. I'm trying to think and hear the voice of God. What does God want for me to do? And I just don't know where to find it. I don't know where it's at. I don't. You know, and I know some people hear audible voices of God. Or I know some people just see signs. And I think, Lord, give me a sign. What's best? And, you know, I just feel like, is this a sign? And if this is a sign, how do I, like, what do I, you know, I just, I'm left with so much confusion. To the point where I don't even think that's really a sign from God. Then if it's so confusing to me. God would know if it's confusing. But, it's like, I just get so lost in, you know, should I be learning to be more grateful for what I have? But how do I do that now? What should I be trying to, you know, analyze things better? It's just a lot of like, I'm confused. I have a lot of questions and I don't know what to do about these questions that I have. I don't know what to do about them. I don't know what to think. I don't know what's best. I don't know what's best for me. I don't know what's best overall and so i'm just struggling in that and i felt like i should talk about that you know just because i love to be transparent let me turn this let me even turn this thing a little bit right but i love to be transparent and honest and truthful when i speak and when i do these here and i don't always want to make it seem as if oh well this is my message of the day but rather this is the person you're seeing on camera of course you don't really know me but this is the person um here that is going through things and I want to come from an understanding perspective. I don't want to be, I don't want to come from like a, from, from just a teacher or just a, this is what's best or a demander or, a or, a, um, do this. Just, I don't know how to describe it. I don't want to come from that. I want to come from <clears throat> somebody that has a best interest for the world 
and wants to make change. And a part of that is understanding and relatability and, and my transparency. So that's it. That's all I really have to say here. Been working on a lot of music, but I'll tell you what, too. One last thing music is confusing, you know. Um, my music, it's definitely not your typical, you know, and that's not to say you're in brag or sit here and you can listen to my music if you want. If you do, you can, you do. If you don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? But I just am speaking truthfully. My music is not of the ordinary, not just with the things I talk about, but the sound. I take it more from like a from the heart and I think about like, and again, this isn't like sitting here bragging, this is what I thought is, I take it from like, from, from whatever's on the inside or the internal, I don't like really look for like, <clears throat> I should sound like this, but rather what do I come up with or what does God place inside of me? You know what I'm saying? That I should put onto this, onto this, um, onto with these lyrics and make this and this is what I'm going to do. And it's all authentic, you know, and it ends up being a thing where it sounds different. And it makes me believe in myself less sometimes, too. Um, which I have a song in relation to that. But um, I'm just saying that to say, man, music is very confusing, too, because, you know, everybody's going to have their opinions on you. And when music comes from you and your internal Boy, oh boy, will people have opinions. And it just becomes a thing where it makes it hard for me sometimes to believe in my music and myself. Does it really sound good? I thought it sounded great, but does it really? <laughs> like, you know, it's confusing. Everything is. I'm going through a confusing stage and confusing pace. And I just don't know what's right. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I should think. I don't know what I should, you know. I, I feel like doing a lot of stuff that's not right, you know, in terms of, um... You know, what I want to do sometimes or what I just, just whatever. Part of it is hiding myself or part of it is just, you know, I don't know, man. It's a lot of stuff that I'm going through. And I just felt like I should be transparent in terms of the camera here speaking because this is a big part of me. A big part of me and what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit tired too still. <laughs> I, I can I can probably look, I, I can probably like... I couldn't look through the camera and tell, um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, I just really wanted to say that real quick. And I think that this might be a very, very helpful video to some, or maybe just an informative video. You know what I'm saying? I want to say I thank you and I appreciate you for, um, for listening to this video today. You have an amazing morning, evening, and night. You take care and thank you for watching. I appreciate you. God bless you and thank you.